You're watching Stephanie Pratt's CI Living, the heart of living local. If you're looking for a new hobby in 2024 and enjoy being outdoors, you may want to consider becoming a master gardener or naturalist. Here with me, or here with the dirt from the University of Illinois Extension is horticulture educator Ryan Penka. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us today. And I, I'm familiar with the master gardeners. I'm not as familiar with the, the, the naturalist program. Um, tell me a little bit about these two tracks that you guys are offering. Sure, sure. Like bo both of these programs are designed as, as volunteer programs. So uh, we provide a 60 hour training for folks. Uh, no experience required coming in. Uh, and then the, the, each track is designed to get them uh, geared towards some of our community projects. So with Master Naturalists, a lot of our community work is uh, in local natural areas, trying to maintain plant and animal diversity in these spaces in conjunction with partners. So the Champaign Park District, Urbana Park District, Champaign County Forest Preserve District, you know, here locally are some of our uh, main partners in that program. But um, Master Gardener, then um, a lot of our projects are community gardens. So we have those, you mentioned you've seen them around Town. Yeah, yeah. All around the community uh, here in Champaign. Uh, my actual extension unit covers four counties, so Fort Iroquois, Vermilion, and Champaign County. So across the counties, we have projects folks can participate in, and it's this time of year we're trying to kind of enroll them in training for 2024. Now, that's really cool because essentially after you go through the program, you become an expert. Yeah. And you actually get to continue to participate even after the program is over. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's a great training course. I mean, it combines experience from a lot of university folks, a lot of University of Illinois professors, uh, extension agents like me. Uh, with the Master Naturalist program, we enroll a lot of folks with the uh, history survey teach, the Illinois National History Survey teaches our classes. So a lot of local expertise going into this where you do get kind of this, you know, all-encompassing picture of each subject matter by the end of the course. And it's, it's just really a, a fun one to teach, a fun one to participate in. That's really cool. And I'm sure you get to build community along the way with people that share a common interest. And um, you're part of an alumni group also that you know, continues to share that interest. Now, this year, I understand, is a little bit different in a good way because you guys were doing everything online or not in person anyways since COVID, but this year you're going back to in-person teaching. Is that right? Yeah, this year, I'm really excited about this year because both courses, we are really focusing on the in-person side of things. Like you said, since the pandemic, we've kind of been remote or or kind of a hybrid version of, of in-person remote. But, but yeah, this year, everything is in-person. Uh, we have a lot of Again, hands-on field activities worked into the course around the community, around the counties that we cover. So is this mostly in the classroom with some field trips or is it kind of a balance? What what does the actual like physical experience look like? Uh, a bit of a balance. Um, I would say we're more in the field than we are in the classroom, but there'll be days where we start with a little bit of lecture or a little bit of background info on what we're gonna talk about or look at, and then we go out in the field and experience it hand on, hands on. So. Awesome. So who is, I know you said this is for everybody, but is it is it truly for everybody? Like what if you have a decent amount of experience, you know, in gardening and you know, you've got a green thumb what if you have no experience or you know you just want to try something new oh yeah great question I mean we we tailor the course for all experience levels so we say there's really no experience necessary coming into the course but I think it you know experienced gardeners experienced naturalists they get a lot out of it too because we cover such a wide swath of subject matter and just like you mentioned that community aspect uh, folks really connect with like-minded people in our courses so I think a lot of people in the end while they like the learning and the educational side of it it's really the folks that they meet and then go on to do these community projects with that, that make the program so successful that's cool and I'm sure as you continue to work with people, the education experience continues, right? Because you, you learn by doing and you get this foundation from 60 hours of teaching. I mean, that's, that's significant. And then you continue to work on projects together. And um, that's a really cool thing that you guys have set up there. Um, we'll get everybody who's interested connected. Um, if you want to learn more about training courses to become a master gardener or naturalist, we'll have all of the links posted at ciliving.tv. Thanks so much for being with us today, Ryan. Oh, thank you. It's